Titan who promised to quit NFL if forced to stand had nasty surprise for Americans Monday night. It's been just days since the NFL received the news that their numbers were the worst they've been in decades, and the league is still sticking to their guns. Not only do they refuse to make their players comply with normal courtesies that are well within their purview, they are still maintaining that they want to move past the problems that Americans have with the anthem protest. Translation we need to move past our problems that we have with the American-made millionaires who disrespect our country. Americans have made it clear what we require in order to return to supporting the NFL with our hard-earned dollars, but the NFL isn't read to tick off the ever-loud social justice warriors yet. In the most recent slide to all things patriotic, Tennessee Titan Richard Matthews found a new way to alienate his fans. According to Daily Mail, he was too disgusted with any sign of patriotism to even stay on the field while the anthem was played and the flag displayed. Tennessee Titans wide receiver Richard Matthews headed into the locker room during the playing of the national anthem four days after he said he would quit football if he was forced to stand. Matthews remained off the field before the Titans took on the Indianapolis Colts on Monday night at Nissan Stadium in Nashville, beating them 36-22. Video captured by the Tennessean shows him jogging down the tunnel ahead of kickoff. He was the only Titans player who wasn't on the field during the Star Spangled Banner. His move came just four days after he said he would quit football if the NFL forced him to stand for the anthem. Matthews is giving the impression that his conscience won't allow him to stand for the anthem, so he had to remove himself from the field. A quick look through his stats will tell you that Matthews has been playing professional football since 2012, long before the first instance of kneeling during the anthem. So for the past five years, it's been no problem or crisis of conscience whatsoever to stand and show respect, but this year he just can't do it. Could that be because the national anthem has nothing to do with any of their grievances, that it's been twisted to be something that it's not by the Black Lives Matter movement? I think maybe it could be. Saying that you have compassion for someone who you believe to be treated unfairly doesn't mean you get to decide who is to blame for those actions. This isn't the first instance of the Titans showing disrespect for the anthem. On September 24, the whole Titans team stayed in the locking room as protests around the NFL started heating up. Although Matthews will not be punished for staying in the locker room, the move comes less than a week after NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell released a statement surrounding the anthem controversy. Like many of our fans, we believe that everyone should stand for the national anthem. It is an important moment in our game. We want to honor our flag and our country, and our fans expect that of us, the statement read in part. We also care deeply about our players and respect their opinions and concerns about critical social issues. The controversy over the anthem is a barrier to having honest conversations and making real progress on the underlying issues. We need to move past this controversy, and we want to do that together with our players. On Thursday, Matthews was asked by a local TV producer on Twitter, if NFL makes new rule on anthem. Will you still stay in locker room and face the fine slash penalty? Matthews, in a since deleted tweet, replied, no I will be done playing football. When asked Friday if he stood by that initial statement, Matthews said not right now. Let's hope it doesn't get to that, Matthews said. I know the owners got a meeting next, week. Let's just hope we don't get to that. Matthews has actually decided to stake his career on this anthem protest. That is actually something that we as the fans can get behind. We've been waiting for some players who were willing to get fired for their disrespectful conduct so that they can be replaced with some players who know how to be grateful for the country that they owe so much to. Matthews might get to see what it's like to sacrifice for your beliefs after the head coach for the Titans gets done with him. On Monday, Titans head coach Mike Malarkey did give a comment, saying he had just found out about the tweet. Matthews, who's half-brother? Christopher Ruiz, died in Afghanistan in 2015, was presented with an American flag in his brother's honor ahead of the Titans' preseason match against the Chicago Bears on August 27. 
maybe if Matthews likes the locker room so much he should just stay there for the duration of the season. That way he can't be offended by the country that made him so wealthy. Wealthy.